This presentation is a part of Audio Adventure Theater. CTD Productions presents to you Winnie the Pooh, based on the books by A. A. Milne, starring Philip Teeson as Winnie the Pooh and Ray Teeson as the narrator. Episode number four: Piglet meets a heffalump. If you see what I mean, Pooh. It's just what I think myself, Piglet. But on the other hand, Pooh, we must remember. Quite true, Piglet. Although I'd forgotten it for the moment. Piglet, I have decided something. What have you decided, Pooh? I have decided to catch a heffalump. Oh. I shall do it by means of a trap, and it must be a cunning trap. So you will have to help me, Piglet. Who? I will. How shall we do it? That's just it. How? Hmm. Perhaps we should dig a very deep pit, and then the heffalump will come along and fall into the pit. And why? Why what? Why would he fall in? Well, the heffalump might be walking along, humming a little song and looking up at the sky, wondering if it would rain, and so he wouldn't see the very deep pit until he was halfway down, and then it would be too late. I think it is a cunning trap. There's only one thing, though. Where should we dig the very deep pit? The best place would be somewhere where heffalump was. Just before he fell into it, only about a foot farther on. But then he would see us digging it. Not if he was looking at the sky. He would suspect if he happened to look down. Oh yeah. It isn't as easy as I thought. I suppose that's why heffalumps hardly ever get caught. That must be it. <sighs> <sighs> if only I could. Think of something. Suppose you wanted to catch me, how would you do it? Well, I should do it like this: I should make a trap, and I should put a jar of honey in the trap, and you would smell it, and you would go in after it, and, and I would go in after it, only very carefully, so as not to hurt myself. And I would get to the jar of honey, and I should lick around the edges first of all. And then yes, well, never mind about that. There you would be, and there I should catch you. Now the first thing to think of is what do heffalumps like? I should think acorns, shouldn't you? We'll get a lot of. I say, wake up, Pooh. Oh, um, I think honey is a much more trappy thing than acorns. All right, honey then. I'll dig the pit while you go and get the honey. Very well. As soon as he got home, he went to the larder, and he stood on a chair and took down a very large jar of honey from the top shelf. It had honey written on it, but just to make sure, he took off the paper cover and looked at it, and it looked just like honey. But you never can tell. I remember my uncle saying once that he had seen cheese just this color. Yes, it is. No doubt about that. And honey, I should say, right down to the bottom of the jar, unless, of course, somebody put cheese in at the bottom just for a joke. Perhaps I had better go a little further, just in case. 
in case heffalumps don't like cheese. Same as me. <sighs> I was right. It is, honey, right the way down. <laughs> My piglet, this is a very deep pit. Got the honey? Yes, but it isn't quite a full jar. No, it isn't. Is that all you've got left? Yes. So Piglet put the jar at the bottom of the pit and climbed out, and they went off home together until they got to Pooh's house. Well, good night, Pooh. And we meet at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning by the pine trees. And see how many heffalumps we've got in our trap. 6 o'clock, Piglet. Well, good night. Good night. Some hours later, just as the night was beginning to steal away, Pooh woke up suddenly with a sinking feeling. He had had that sinking feeling before, and he knew what it meant. He was hungry. So he went to the larder, and he stood on a chair, and reached up to the top shelf, and found nothing. I remember. I put it into the cunning trap to catch the heffalump. Bother. It all comes of trying to be kind to heffalumps. And he got back into bed. But he couldn't sleep. The more he tried to sleep, the more he couldn't. He tried counting sheep, which is sometimes a good way of getting to sleep. And as that was no good, he tried counting heffalumps. And that was worse, because every heffalump that he counted was making straight for a pot of Pooh's honey and eating it all. For some minutes he lay there miserably, but when the 587th heffalump was licking its jaws and saying to itself, Very good, honey, this. I know no one I've tasted better. Pooh could bear it no longer. He jumped out of bed, he ran out of the house, and he ran straight to the six pine trees. The sun was still in bed, and there was a lightness in the sky over the hundred-acre wood, which seemed to show that it was waking up and would soon be kicking off the clothes. In the half-light, the pine trees looked cold and lonely, and the very deep pit seemed deeper than it was, and Pooh's jar of honey at the bottom was something mysterious, a shape and no more. But as he got nearer to it, his nose told him that it was indeed honey, and his tongue came out and began to polish up his mouth, ready for it. Bother! A heffalump has been eating it! Oh no, I did. I forgot. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, quite so. I wonder what a heffalump is like. Is it fierce? Oh dear. And I'm going to be seeing my first heffalump in an hour from now. But of course Pooh will be with me, and it is much more friendly with two. But suppose heffalumps are very fierce with pigs and bears. Wouldn't it be better to pretend that I have a headache and couldn't go up to the six pine trees this morning? But what if it's a very fine day and there's no heffalump in the trap? Here I would be in bed all morning simply wasting my time for nothing. What should I do? Aha! I've got an idea. I'll go up very quietly to the six pine trees now, peep very carefully into the trap and see if there is a heffalump there. And if there is, I'll go back to bed, and if there isn't, I won't. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. 
I can hear the heffalump oh, no. from inside the pit. Perhaps I have to go back. No, I'll just take one quick look. Get this blood off my head. Help! Help! A heffalump! A horrible heffalump! Help! Help! A horrible heffalump! Half half! A horrible heffalump! Hal hal! A horrible heffalump! Christopher Rabbit! Christopher Rabbit! What is the matter, Piglet? What did it look like? Like, like, it had the biggest head you ever saw, Christopher Rabbit. A, a great enormous thing, like, like nothing. A huge, big, well, like, I don't know, like an enormous, big nothing, L like a jar. Well, I should go and look at it. Come on. I can hear it! Can't you? I can hear something. Is that the pit? Yes! It's not so very deep. But I could stand inside and it would barely be above my head. Well, it did look very deep at the time. There! Isn't it an awful? <laughs> Now that that pot is off my head. Would you like to come have breakfast with me? Yes, I would, Christopher Robin. Very much. Oh, Bear, how I do love you. So do I. In Piglet Meets a Heffalump by A. A. Milne, dramatized for audio by Caleb Thiessen, you heard Philip Thiessen as Winnie the Pooh, Ray Thiessen as the narrator, Aaron Thiessen as Christopher Robin, Reed Thiessen as Piglet, and Josiah Coates as the Heffalump. The audio adventure theater theme was composed by Garrett Vandenberg. The program was produced by Caleb Thiessen. Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Milne is brought to you by CTD Productions. Be sure to check out our website at audioadventuretheater.blogspot.com.